Today we will be looking at how to calculate the area of two-dimensional shapes. Our objective is you will learn how to calculate the area of a two-dimensional shape and we're going to be concentrating on rectangles and squares. The area of a region is the number of squares needed to cover the region. So if you look at the ivory square and the little tan squares all around it, how many of the tan squares do you think it would take to cover the ivory square? So let's look. I'm going to give you a couple seconds to think about it. And now we'll look. So I'm going to try to cover it as neatly as possible. What I'm doing is I'm covering the area, and the area is the inside of the square. And as you can see, it takes nine squares to cover it. So your answer would be nine squares. There's an easier way to calculate or find the area of a rectangle or square. And the formula is the area equals the base times the height, or you could say the area equals length times the width. Let's try out a few together. So if we look at number one right here, it's in inches. This right here is the base, and this right here is the height. So what we would do so when it asks for the base, it's 5 inches. This is the symbol for inches. And the height is right here. It's also 5 inches. So the formula was base times height. So it would be 5 times 5 equals 25, you want to make sure you label it, inches squared. Number two, look at this. It's a rectangle. Look at it and decide what the base is and the height. So the base is, what do you think I should write? Hopefully you are saying 8. And it's in centimeters, so I'm going to centimeters and the height is right here and it is yep you've got it it's four centimeters so the area once again what is it it's base times the height so it's eight times four equals 32 centimeters, make sure you label it, and this little two up here is the squared sign. Now I want you to try it out in your, um, you're going to jot down the answers in your notebook and then you're going to um, link it to the, or put it on the quiz that's linked to this. So number one, here it is, here's the base and here's the height. And you're going to multiply those two together and choose one of these answers. Is it A, 5 centimeters squared, B, 11 centimeters squared, C, 32 centimeters squared, or D, 55 centimeters squared? Number two, here's what you need to look at. Here's the height and here's the, the base. Do what you need to do to find the area, and your choices are A, 7 centimeters squared, B, 14 centimeters squared, C, 42 centimeters squared, or D, 98 centimeters squared. Number three, I'm not going to say much. Look at this information. Choose from this information and figure out this one's not asking for the area, it is asking for the base. So which one of those 
lines up with the base. Number four, look at this. Look at all this. What is it asking for? And answer the question. Now, we have one that's a little bit more complicated. And we're going to look at this. And I want you to think for a minute. How would you find the area of these figures? What you would do is you would see how it's, it's into two different sections. So I'm just going to put a line here. First of all, we're going to find the area of this rectangle. Then we're going to find the area of this rectangle. And then we're going to add them together. So let's start at this one. The base is, yep, you've got it. It's 3.5. and it's meters, so we're going to label that. The height, it's right here, it's nine meters. So what you would do is you would multiply 3.5, which is the same as three and a half, times nine meters equals 31.5 or 31 and a half meters squared. So I'm going to make sure I label it meters and the little squared symbol. Now we have that figure figured out the area. Now we're going to look at this one. The base is six and a half or six and five tenths. And then we have the height is 4 meters, and when we multiply 6.5 times 4, we get 26 meters squared. And I'm going to make sure that I label it. I don't want to be lazy. And, oopsie, I made a little mistake. So what I should have put here, this was the base right here, and I wrote it all in one line. The height this would go here, and this whole equation goes down here. So 6.5 times 4 equals 26. And then, now you're going to add both the areas together and you should have gotten 57.5 centimeter, oops, sorry, meters squared. A little bit more complica complicated, but you did it just great. Now it's notebook time. What you're going to do in your notebook, I want you to write down in the vocabulary section, write down the definition of an area, how you figure out the area of a two-dimensional rectangle or square. That you're going to write in the vocabulary section. The front of the composition notebook, you are going to write down any questions that you had. And that's it. Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow. Bye.